Alright, hey guys, we are back, and this is going to be episode 15, I want to say, something like that. It's either 15 or 14. Either way, that's not important because the episode number will be in the title above the video. But, so the second half of this episode, actually what happened is I recorded the previous episode, and I recorded three day requests uh, to put in that episode, and it ended up being um, far longer than I thought it would be. So I didn't want to make a video that was 50 minutes long because that's just not a good idea ever. Um, so what I decided to do is just uh, take the last day request that I did in the last video and put it in this video instead. So the second half of this video will probably seem like it was supposed to be in the last episode is what I'm trying to say. But we did uh, Vermina. That was the day request we did last episode. So we're going to go on to Azura now. And we'll do the Azura's quest, I guess. I believe uh, Azura gives you the Azura's star, which is the unlimited soul gem. Um, I believe that's what you get. But anyway, so let's talk to her. I probably gonna need. Yeah, I'm gonna need some sort of ingredient to give to her. Will you tell me what it is? You have entered a holy place. What is your business? Ah. Uh. These are dark. Unless you can persuade. Okay, so I gotta persuade him. All right. I can do that. Are you persuaded? Little bit helps. This is the shrine of Wish to summon Azura. If you wish to speak to the lady, leave her an glow dust, and we have to visit her at dawn or at dusk. But luckily, I do have plenty of glow dust. Um, the monster that drops glow dust is Willow the Wisps, which are very, very annoying creatures to kill. But um. They're invulnerable to traditional weapons, so you have to use either an enchanted weapon, which I now have a really good enchanted weapon, so Will of the Wisps should no longer be a problem, um, or you need to kill them with magic. But the problem is they drain your magicka, so it can be r pretty rough killing them when you're a low level. Anyway, uh, we got to get some glow dust out of here. Do do do. I'm sure that I have some. I have pretty much everything. There we go one glow dust. Uh, yeah, eventually I'm just going to go on a massive humongous alchemy scree spree um, and just make a ton of alchemy ingredients. So after Azura we only have Mephala and uh, Hermanius Mora. I think that's it. Uh, then we should be done with the Daedra quest. So next episode is going to be the last Daedra quest episode. I'm just going to do um, Azura and the part that's already recorded in this one. Visit her at dawn or dusk, alright? So, probably at 6 p.m. is it dusk, I want to say. Okay, 5.56. I have seen your name, Traveler, and heard it whispered in twilight. I ask a service which holds promise of fame and reward. Many years ago, five followers slew the vampire Dratic and its kin. But all are infected by the foul creature. Knowing their fate, they sealed themselves up in the vampire's lair. Their suffering weighs heavily on me. Uh oh, I heard the word vampires. I have a gutted mind. The door will open to you. Bring the peace of death to my followers, and you shall earn my gratitude. She tells me the tale of her followers who trapped, who are trapped in gutted mine. Gutted mine. I'm sorry, I just woke up. She wishes me to find them and kill them, releasing them from their vampiric existence. Oh my goodness, vampires! Really? Uh, this game. I don't like killing vampires because they give you a uh, porphic hemophilia. Um, but anyway, I do have the bow. And I did happen to learn that uh, vampires are very weak against silver arrows, or any silver thing. But um, so I'm going to charge up this bow of the inferno. Probably didn't need an entire grand soldier to charge it, but oh well. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try to sneak attack the vampires and uh, kill them before they see me. So in that case, I'll ev avoid uh, porphic hemophilia as long as I can. If it's not pronounced porphic hemophilia, then I don't really care. That's just how I'm going to pronounce it. But anyway, 
I'm surprised I haven't discovered this location because I kind of went all around this area and I thought I discovered all the locations in this area already. Um, maybe this location only appeared after you start the quest, but usually how it works is uh, locations are just marked as locked until you start the quest and then they'll unlock themselves. Usually. Really, am I trapped on this mountain? It's right there. It's right on the other side of this ridge. Why can't I get to it? Oh no. If I'm going to have to go, like, backtrack or go all the way around, it's going to be really frustrating. One thing I got to say is the mountains in this game are extremely frustrating. Hard to deal with. Okay, good. I found it. So now I can just fast travel to it. <laughs> Even though I didn't quite make it to good in mine. There we go. That's how you do it, folks. I'm not sure exactly how else you would get to get in mine. But yeah, I believe vampires are weak against silver arrows or something like that. So, um, Since I have silver arrows, I should be... Whoa. I should be doing a lot more damage against the vampires. Here's one here. Let's own his face. Wow. He didn't even die. And he hit me with something. What was that? That looked like a paralyzed spell, but I wasn't paralyzed. Oh, silence. That's what it is. The silence spell is not worth it at all in this game. It's like one of the highest Magicka cost spells in the entire game. And all it does is keep your opponent from casting spells for a short little while. So It costs more Magicka than like uh, Invisibility does or Paralysis does. Those are the two best spells in the game, in my opinion. Invisibility and the Paralyzed one. Um, and I can't use either of them yet because I don't have enough Magicka to do it. So, I don't know if I'll ever have enough Magicka to use them. I think how it works is if you train the magic skill that is required. Like, for example, I know Paralyze isn't... I think it's Alteration. I'm not sure. But if you get Alteration to like 100 or something, then spells cost a lot less Magicka. Ebony Helmet and that Coffin, that's weird. Coffins usually have really crap loot in them. But every time I level up, what I've been doing is I've been, um, really, there's no one back here? That was kind of a waste of time. Every time I level up, what I do is I go to the Imperial City, and there's a guy there that will train your sneak. Um, so, I don't know if I leveled up recently, but anyway, next time I remember, I'm going to be going to the Imperial City and uh, training. Because I have plenty of gold, I don't really need it for anything, and sneak is a very, very slow skill to level up. So instead of cheating and power training sneak, which, you know, isn't very hard to do, what I decided to do instead is just use an actual trainer to train it. Boom. Boom. You dead. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, she's really weak. That's good. She didn't have any good armor on. Yeah, she was just wearing regular old clothes, so that's why she was so weak, probably. Daedric Claymore, way too heavy. So you have a whole bunch of Daedric crap, but I'm not going to pick it up because it weighs way too much. Um, I was going to say, if you, anyway, I can only sell items for up to 1,500 gold anyway, so um, picking up something that's worth 10,000 gold, you know, yeah, it might look cool, but there's really no point because you can't sell it. Well, you can sell it, you're just not going to get 10,000 gold for it, you're only going to get 1,500 um, Skyrim had the same problem, it was even worse though, because after you sold stuff, like you could sell a thousand gold worth of stuff, and then the storekeeper wouldn't have any gold for another couple days. That was the one part about Skyrim that I just could not stand. That really put me off the game initially, when I first started playing Skyrim. I have a lot of memories of Skyrim. You know, I might actually do a playthrough of Skyrim, uh, if my computer can handle it, I don't know. Because I've been playing Morrowind a bit recently, and my computer can... Well, you didn't notice me? How did you not notice me? But my computer can barely handle Morrowind, but I did install... I did get a whole bunch of graphics mods on it, so... Uh, Morrowind actually looks better than Oblivion does, which is kind of crazy. Are you just a summon? Yeah, you were. Oops. Die, please. Thank you. But yeah, I got a whole bunch of um, graphic mods for Marwin, so it looks really, really good. Um, but at the same time, it absolutely kills your FPS. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, you're just a summon as well? How come all these guys have Dramora Lord summons? That's a bit unfair. There you are. 
You another summon? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Where are you all get where are all you guys coming from? He keeps summoning Dramore Lords. Light armor increased. Okay, at least I didn't get uh perfect hemophilia. I think I didn't. Let's check really quickly. Mm. Nope. I avoided the disease. The drain strength was just a bow of fire. Huh. That's a glass bow, though, so I'm not even going to bother. Again, he drops tons of arrows, which I'm going to take, because they're all very useful. Ebony short sword, huh? That's a bit weird. I usually only see ebony long swords. But wow, this guy had a bazillion arrows on him, and I'm going to take all of them, because they're all pretty useful. But anyway... Um, I do like to store up on arrows just because I hate having to like run out of arrows in the middle of a mission and then you have to go to a shop and buy more. It's really annoying. And with the enchanted arrows, I just like to collect them. I don't actually use the enchanted arrows just because, I mean, what's the point of using like five arrows and you have to switch over to a different type of arrow anyway? It's just annoying. Um, which way are we going? I believe up here. If I could find my way out of here without using the map, that's that doesn't happen very often. I'll just say that. So, we avoided the disease, and we finished the quest. That's not bad. That's a win-win situation. Yeah. And let's turn this sucker in. Get a reward. Azura Star. Thank you, mortals. Their spirits are free. And henceforth, above my shrine, five bright candles shall burn forever in memory of their sacrifice. For your service, take this token, that your deeds might be entered in the Book of Fate. Okay, cool. So I got Azura Star, which is basically just an unlimited soul gem. Um, I'm not sure how good of a soul gem it is. Ooh, I think you can actually fill it with any kind of soul, so you, it can be like a black soul gem, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But anyway... Um, I haven't been soul trapping people. I should do that. I have seven black soul gems and the Azura Star, so I should just go soul trap people. But anyway, uh, that's going to be all for now. Uh, you'll see the second part of this episode, um, which was supposed to be the last part of last episode. But anyway, uh, on, to, on to that mission, I guess. Alright, it's a huge pain to make black soul gems. Basically, oh, hello there. Basically, what you have to do is you have to go to one of these altars on a certain day... Um, and the purple light from the heavens will shine down onto the altar, and then you put grand soul gems in there, in this chest, and you cast soul trap on the chest, and then boom. Well, I don't have any more grand soul gems, but, you know, you get the idea. So, I now have eight black soul gems. So that's kind of useful, I guess, just in case I ever need them in the future. But, real, really huge pain to actually make them. I think in Skyrim you just get them as drops from monsters and stuff. So anyway, let us start the quest. We meet again, mortal, for we have met before, whether you know it or not. When you mutter in your sleep, you speak to me. When you wake wet with sweat, you just left my house. I dwell in your dreams. I savor your nightmares. Now you will serve me. The wizard Arkfeth has the orb of Vermina, snatched from the dreams of my followers and dragged into the waking world. Travel to his tower and retrieve my orb. Take care, though. In my orb, Akhbet has found more than he bargained for. Okay, so we have to kill an evil wizard. Go to his tower, take him out. So it looks like it's just going to be a bit south of uh, our current location. Most of the Daedric quests, you just have to run a bit south, or east or north, or whatever. Alright, and here we are at this wizardy tower place. Let us go in, and I think I remember this place. It's... Eh, I don't quite remember. I think I do. Anyway, it's 
pretty interesting dungeon, regardless. If I could find the entrance. Oh, there's another, there's an alien ruin, like, right over there. I was thinking I was having to go over here to find the entrance to the tower. I'm just going to quickly go over and discover this alien ruin. Because why not? It's right here. Also, I got my, uh, my trusty, what do you call it? Bow of the Inferno? Bow of the Inferno and Gold Brand. Two awesome weapons. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be using for combat now. I found Nornal. Sounds like a pretty normal place. But anyway, let's go in the tower and, uh, probably have to do a bit of fighting, which I hope, because I, I want to test out these bows. But, anyways, I was like, I'm just going to use the regular Daedric bow because I don't want to waste the enchantments when I barely have any filled soul gems. And I'm like, wait, once the enchantments run out, this will just be a regular Daedric bow anyway, so I might as well use it. So, yeah, I'm going to be using the Bow of the Inferno, and it does do 20 extra fire damage. Um, I think there are enemies in this in this area. I'm not 100% sure, though. There's always the chance that there aren't. 51 gold. Wasn't a very good chest, if you ask me. There should be, like, guards. Come on, there's got to be at least a few guards. Wow, two doors opened already, and no enemies. That's really, really good for Oblivion. The chest, I don't think it has anything good in it. I actually did end up buying a lot of arrows. Um, I'll show you that really quickly. I bought 100 er elven arrows, 50 dwarven arrows, 40 iron arrows, 75 silver arrows. And I'm just going to use them progressively from the crappiest to the best ones because, you know, that's that's what I like to do. But anyway, like the the vast majority of the damage is probably going to come from, like, the bow's damage. Oh. Okay, well, there are enemies in this tower. Boom. That's a lot of damage. For some reason, he didn't get the, um, I think these Zilabis, whatever you want to call them, they have, like, resist spell or something, so, um, it doesn't always hit them. I think that's why it, I didn't do fire damage the first time, but anyway. Let's take this, this sucker out. Really? Paralyze? Come on now. I don't like paralyze. Maybe I should get, like, a resist paralysis ring or something. That might be helpful. Take her out. This boat does a ton of damage. I really like it. My marksman skill is just so low, though. It takes forever to train it up. I'll get there eventually one day. Okay, sneak mode, because we'll do a lot more damage in sneak mode. So we might as well fight endangered creatures. Oh, wow. This is not what I expected at all. I expected, like, a tower, you know, not a bridge over a huge chasm. I'm not sure how he got this here, but... Anyway, I don't think there's any monsters during this part, so no point in sneaking. What's up there? Eh, I'm a bit apprehensive. I'm not even going to go check it out. Um, I'm not sure if we actually have to kill the owner of this tower himself, or what. Can't exactly remember this quest very well. If they're just going to have to meet, go in a door in the other end without fighting any monsters, then this is a very pointless quest. Really? What was the point of this? <laughs> Why did you have me walk over this area if there's nothing to fight and nothing to do? That was... I don't know. Whatever. One thing that I really miss, w wish this game had, is in Skyrim, I think one of the most useful things in the game is um, if you use bound weapons, you can actually... There's an ability that you can get that has... Uh, you can put soul trap on all your bound weapons, so if you kill an enemy with a bound weapon, it will um, soul trap, which I think is just incredibly amazing and very useful. So I really wish they had that in this game. Alright, take these suckers out. I'm going to get my, my wraith here for a bit of backup protection. Are these just regular clan fears? Because they have a lot of health. Holy crap. you got to remember, I'm doing 20 extra damage every single arrow until the charge runs out, so. Clan Fear Claws. Wraith, you're in my way. I don't want to be hitting you. I want to be hitting the Clan Fear. There we go. Die, please. Little mini dinosaurs. I don't know why dinosaurs are a Daedra creature, because there's the Daedroths and they're the Clan Fears, and they're, they both look like dinosaurs, and yet they're supposedly Daedra creatures, so. Let's take this clan fear out. Shoot him in the butt. Really, I missed? That's embarrassing. There we go. In the butt. 
take him out. Boom. I hope this this bow's charge lasts a long time because that would be really helpful. Four iron arrows, clamp your claws. Um, any chests around here? I want to make sure I don't miss any of them. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. There's a door up there as well. I'm not exactly sure. We'll just go this way. Just keep going forward. Uh-oh. It's getting dark and misty around. There's a Zillabi. Still don't know, know how to pronounce their name, but whatever. They're kind of newbie. I swear the clan fears have more health than they do. I don't know for sure, though. He's dead? Is that a Daedric Claymore? Not... Yeah, I don't pick up stuff like that. It's just way too heavy. Unless it had the most amazing enchantment of all time on it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go in there. I think I need to go around the other way. I'll go try this door up here and see if this is where I'm supposed to go. Hopefully this works. Old wooden door. Oh my goodness. This is not a pleasant sight. <laughs> uh, looks like some eating of humans has gone on here. Uh-oh, they noticed me. Let's get my Wraith out to help out a bit. Get out of the way, Wraith. I'm trying to kill stuff. So I'm sorry if my commentary is going a little bit downhill. I am extremely tired. It's a long day. It's time for me to go to bed. I've recorded four episodes in a row because I love this game. Um, and yeah, I, I worked a long shift today and I have more work tomorrow. So anyway, that's fun. And then as soon as college starts up, that's going to be even more fun. Uh, video making is going to be difficult, we'll just say that. Did I hit my wraith by accident? Because he just shot me. We'll just give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he was aiming at the enemy and hit me by accident, but I don't know. I don't know about this guy. Whoa. Why is there like a giant table? The problem is, uh, the enchanted bow doesn't actually work on... I think the bow's out of charges anyway, but the enchanted bow doesn't work on uh, Frost Atronax because the arrow has to stick in them to work, I think. So, And with Frost Atronax, it just kind of bounces off them. Well, with all Atronax, Fire and uh, Storm as well, but anyway. There's also Flesh Atronax, but you can't fight them under normal circumstances, I don't believe. Um, I think they can only be summoned. I think you can summon Flesh Atronax. I'm not 100% sure about that, actually, but... Humongous bed. Wow. Does a giant live there? I don't know. Arkved's Hall of Changes. So this is where it's supposed to go. I don't know how I feel. I've, I don't know how I feel about this. Another Frost Atronach? Two Frost Atronachs. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Low on health right now. We are low on health. Someone's shooting arrows at me. You know what? Get owned. Deal with him. Don't don't feel. Don't even worry about me. I'll just be here. Stop closing the door, you jerks. You know we're just gonna go ham mode on these guys. Gold branded up. Gold brand is really really good. If you guys didn't couldn't tell already, because I just completely destroyed those frost knocks. <laughs> But yeah, well, I mean, the gold brand does do fire damage, and frost atronox are weak to fire, so that's part of it, obviously, but... Oh my goodness, that trap, that trap, that trap. <sighs> traps do a ton of damage in this game, I forgot about that, or soul gem traps do. They can pretty much two-hit you, so you gotta watch out for them. Oh, hello. Didn't mean to disturb you, sir. Uh, so yeah, watch out for soul gem traps. They kind of own. Just warning you. Trying my best not to die here. Please let this be the way to go. I don't want to go through that soul gem trap room again. Huh. <laughs> Goodness. Die, die. Yeah, but as you can see, gold brand, it's just ownage. There's, there's nothing else to say. Uh, I guess I... Expert mortar and pestle. Eh... It weighs one and it's worth 500, so why not, really? Oh. 
old wooden door. Where do I go? I think I gotta go through that area. Let's see. Check the map here. Yeah, it looks like I gotta go through here. I don't know why there's a couple areas. Like, there's another area down there. Why are there two areas in this game that you don't need to go to? That's weird. Usually they want you to explore, like, every area in a dungeon. Uh-oh. Soul gem trap. Deal with him. Not me. Those soul gem traps, I'm telling you, there's no way to get rid of them. And they just deal so much damage, so... But yeah, as you can tell, I am very, very much enjoying Goldbrand right now. Uh, let me through the door, let me through the door, let me through the door. Quick, I don't want to die. I'm too young to die. Is this where we go? Oh. Aquaries, rending halls. Okay, I'm not even going to worry about going back and like looting the other rooms or anything. First of all, because I don't think there's much to loot. And second of all, because I don't want to go past that soul gem trap again. So that's fine. Anyway, let's continue. Ew. I don't like the music in this place. It's very creepy. Just completely owned those guys. Let's check out this chest. Wow. All the chests in here are not impressive to say the least. There's Storm Atronach. Yeah, just nothing holds up to this sword. I love this sword. I, I promise I didn't turn down the difficulty or anything. This sword is just that good. <laughs> okay, another chest here. Mortal and Pestle, eh. Mandrake Root, eh. I don't like the looks of that. I'll be completely honest. I know I really should be training my marksman, and I really want to be training my marksman, but the thing is, I just don't have the time right now. I want to go to bed, and I want to be done with this dungeon, so. Actually, after I finish this video before I go to bed, I have to actually um, do a bit of video editing so I can start rendering out some videos. Journeyman Alembic, I need an expert Alembic. I already have a Journeyman Alembic. That's really annoying. That's the only um, ex expert one that I don't have. On the only expert uh, alchemy thing. Arkvet's Death Quarters. Ugh. Not sure how I feel about this one. Let's quickly, before we continue, repair up sure everything is at full strength. Armor skill increased. That's what I like to see. Let's see. Gold brand. Um, looks like it's about one-third uncharged. So, let's charge it up. It's fully charged now? Nope. Not even. Wow. I'm going to need a lot of soul gems to keep this thing charged. That did the trick. Uh-oh. Why is there, like, a sleeping guy? Is that Arkved? Okay. What do I do? The orb. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot that the only reason I'm actually here. I wonder if he's aware of all of this going on in the tower around him. Or if he's just clueless. Wow. Wow. That was awesome. He just lets us out right here. We don't even have to worry about anything else. Okay. Well, let's return and get our reward. I don't remember what she gives you, but hopefully it's something good. Anyway, let's find out. My lord is returned, and Arkfed will live out the rest of his days in nightmare. It is fitting. You have proved yourself, mortal. It is fitting as well that you should bear my token. The Skull of Corruption. Uh, I don't think that this thing was in Skyrim. Whatever it is. To be honest, I don't even know what the Skull of Corruption is. Is it a weapon? Oh, it is. A staff. Corruption for 30 seconds on target. Well, we can try it out. We gotta save first. So we can reload the game afterwards. Corrupt you. So, what does it do exactly?
Oh. Well, it, it created a c corrupted clone of him? That attacks him? Okay. That's a bit weird. I don't see any situation where, there, was, where this would actually be useful, but... Anyway, cool little item, I guess. I'm going to reload that. And that's going to be about all for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next episode, which should be coming soon. Farewell.